Papa Wagon began in 1980. The art teacher at Woodbury High School did it with her students that year. The first year of the Papa Wagon, we did go to many different parks. At that time, it was a lot of local churches. When I saw the Papa Wagon, it was just really exciting. You know, you'd be sitting at the park and you'd see it come around the corner and you just knew it was coming, it was going to be fun, and you see all the cool shows and uh, it's just a lot of fun. The Papa Wagon has changed quite a bit over the years. We've had three different wagons. The latest one is about a year and a half old. We've also gone from two puppeteers to three puppeteers. My name is Claire Odin. I worked on the puppet wagon from 2008 to 2014. And it didn't feel like work to me. It felt like fun. I think that it's helped shape me in many ways as far as knowing that I enjoy uh, working on group projects and knowing that in the future um, I will want to go into a profession that is oriented uh, around art and around creativity and being a part of something greater than myself. Cheering on the alien. Looking back on the Papa Wagon, I really miss it. I thought it was the most fun job I've ever had. Being a Puppet Wagon puppeteer did help me with my writing skills. The Puppet Wagon kind of inspired me. And the Puppet Wagon, it was a challenge to rewrite those short stories each week. Now I um, am in an MFA program at Hamlin for creative writing. One of the main forms that I do is called flash fiction, which is a story in a page or even a paragraph. And so I think all those years of writing those shows um, has helped me uh, in my writing career. The Puppet Wagon is still a Woodbury tradition because our residents love it. They get excited about the schedule. They're anxious to see the new shows and where the puppets will take them. It's um, an opportunity for young families to come out to a park. They come and watch a six, seven, eight minute puppet show. They can play on the playground. Maybe they have some friends there. They can bring a picnic lunch and they have a good morning activity. It seems so scary. It's really awesome to spread the pup away into another generation. I remember going to it, you know, for more than 20 years. Uh, going to every show every Thursday morning and seeing it. And now my daughter, who's eight months old, can say the same thing. She goes to the Pubble Wagons, the same show that I went to. And it's fun because I know some of the songs. I remember them and I get to see new ones too. It's going to be a lot of fun watching her grow up with the Pubble Wagon. Anyone else want to float? So I encourage you to check out our Pubble Wagon schedule and find either a park near you or a brand new park Bring along your kids and maybe a few friends to check out one of our puppet shows this summer.